Evening. In just a few hours, all activity at the Indiana State Fair will come to a halt as organizers mark the moment of last year's deadly stage collapse. It was one year ago today. Seven people died. Dozens more were injured when the stage rigging collapsed just before the Sugarland concert. Among those killed was local cheerleading coach Megan Toothman. Stacia Matthews from our script station in Indianapolis joins us live from the fairgrounds with what is well, one year ago today, I stood in this very spot, but the scene behind me was much different. It was pouring rain, thunder, and lightning, and there was a rubble of mangled steel, broken glass, and death. Tonight, the Indiana State Fair will honor the seven victims who died here with a moment of silence. It's a scene forever etched in our minds. Stage rigging fell onto a crowd waiting for Sugarland to take the stage when high winds ripped through the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Seven people died, many more still struggled to recover. When my brother named all the people that died, I just thought there was a moment that my family thought that was going to be me next. So it made me very sad to think about all those people. And thank goodness I wasn't one of them. Two pink roses adorn the memorial plaque outside the grandstand honoring the victims, giving fairgoers a chance to pay their respects. Uh, I just hope that, you know, this is something that people remember and pay tribute to every year. I think it's, it's important that that, that that be remembered. I've seen the plaque on, on the uh, news before we came, so we just wanted to come by and see how it was, what it looked like and stuff. The collapse led to investigations, lawsuits, even changes in safety procedures here. Food vendor David Green will stop cooking tonight during the moment of silence. He says it's the least he can do. I feel good about it. I think it should be a moment of silence because of the tragedy. And I pray for all the families and all the victims. Amusement rides, concessionaires, even the MC Hammer concert will come to a halt on the anniversary of the collapse. Uh, the midway rides will stop, the concessionaires will stop, everybody will stop, and we will pay our respects as best we can for, for the lives most affected by what happened last year. Public announcements will be made over the loudspeakers starting at 8 o'clock. By 8.30, the rides at the Midway will stop running. Uh, food vendors, concessionaires, and if MC Hammer is playing, all of that will be silenced by 8.45. The moment of silence begins one minute later and will last till 8.50. Reporting live from Indianapolis, now back to you. It's